Intermittent fasting, 24-hour fasting or fasting for a month. Various options and abundance of knowledge. But have you ever wondered what happens if you eat nothing for 3 days? We are limiting to 3 days because it is doable and has a pool of scientific evidence in favor of short-term fasting. But it's not as easy as it seems. Before we talk about this in detail, hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot to tell you what happens with your body. When it comes to understanding your body in the fasting state, it is vital to draw light about what actually happens when you eat food. Yes, food. Something you can't live without. Or maybe you can. Let us find that out. As you consume food, it is broken down into simpler molecules to be used up as fuel for body so that it can function properly. This happens because of the pancreas present in your abdomen. Pancreas produces the hormone known as insulin, which helps your cells absorb the glucose present in your bloodstream. What you get after eating food? This glucose is broken down into fatty acids, which are used by the body as fuel. This is also used for other bodily biological functions, such as the production of testosterone. The excess fatty acids are converted back triglycerides, which is stored as adipose tissue or body fat, as we commonly refer to. In contrast, the excess carbs that you get from food is first converted into glycogen that is stored in the muscles in your liver. Guess what? There is a limit to how much glycogen a person can store. For this reason, the remaining is converted into triglycerides and stored as adipose tissue. In other words, body fat. Yes, those bulges are because of that. Now, this is what happens when you eat. How about if you stop eating for 3 days? After 6 to 10 hours of fasting, the leftover glucose that is circulating in the bloodstream will be used up as fuel since your body is not receiving new nutrients. The body's own glycogen reserves will be used. This time, the pancreas begins to secrete glucagon. Now, don't mix it up with glycogen or glucose. Glucagon is hormone which signals the body to release glycogen and fatty acids. However, if your last meal was low in carbs, your body might possibly begin producing ketones as a source of energy during the initial stages of fasting. Ketones are basically the chemicals that are produced by the liver when your fat cells are converted into fatty acids. So during those 6 hours of fasting, your blood glucose levels go up and then they gradually decline. In contrast, your ketones do the opposite. They rise especially about the 10th hour of fasting. Now, if you usually consume 3 big meals in a day and are a regular carb eater, you will feel low energy levels and hunger. Now, guess what? The hunger you initially feel when you fast is not because of low calories, but because of the circadian rhythm. Your body is accustomed to those meals and demands it at a specific time of the day. This also has a lot to do with the hunger hormone ghrelin that stimulates appetite. When you stop eating, ghrelin spikes up, especially during your regular meal hours, making you hungry. Now, if you continue to fast, this hunger pangs eventually subside as your body naturally begins to adapt to the new fasting routine. This also starts to increase the human growth hormone, HGH, produced by the pituitary gland. Fasting increases this hormone, similar to what you experience when you exercise or when you are under stress. Now, let's talk a little more about HGH. It is vital when you are fasting, as it's associated with muscle repair, performance, immune building and recovery from injuries. Although it will not result in muscle growth when you fast, but rather delays the breakdown of muscles when you go long without food. This is done because of protein synthesis and muscle tissue repair. Studies show that the longer you fast, the more HGH you produce. A study showed that fasting for only 2 days increased the HGH production by 5 times. Now, when you go fast for 12 to 16 hours, your body starts to deplete its glycogen stores, thereby relying more on ketone. This is the time when you begin to feel cold, which happens from not digesting food. There are numerous benefits of fasting and studies have researched in depth about Muslims who fast during the month of Ramadan. Findings reveal a great improvement in weight management, digestion and a decrease in cholesterol levels and body inflammation. As you accomplish longer fasting periods, your body begins to rely on fatty acids and ketone. This is because of the low blood sugar due to which there is minimal glycogen present. This causes inflammation to decrease. We also notice an increase in HGH and also in brain molecules that improves the communication between the brain and the nerve's sensory organs, thereby improving learning and memory. Fasting is also the best cleaning mechanism of the body. As you fast, a recycling process of autophagy begins where your body finds all the junk present in the form of damaged proteins, bacteria and dysfunctional cells and uses up as energy and cleans the entire body system. 
Did you know autophagy has tremendous benefits on our lifespan and aging process? Additionally, short-term fasting also improves your immune system, enabling the white blood cells to fight off disease better. In contrast, extended periods of fasting do harm your immune system. Now, after fasting for 24 to 32 hours, your body will begin to rely on its fat stores for energy. As a result, you will experience more of the fatty acids in the bloodstream. However, your brain would need some glucose to function. Now, what will it do? Here is the answer. The body begins to separate the triglycerides coming from the fat stores and convert it into glycerol and free fatty acids. While free fatty acids are used immediately, glycerol is sent to the liver where it's converted to glucose through gluconeogenesis. This is how glucose is supplied to your brain. This is achieved without breaking the muscle tissue. The body, however, reduces its protein breakdown after 24 hours of fasting. Now, as a matter of fact, your body can lose some of the muscle mass, especially when you fast for a longer period. However, you do not need to worry about muscle loss, especially during the first three days as your HGH will be in action. Your scale no doubt will begin to show weight loss, which is attributed to the water loss occurring because of depleting carbs and fat loss. However, fat loss is not ongoing, especially if after a period of fast you indulge in a heavy meal. Nevertheless, a fast of 48 hours is extremely beneficial for your mood and mental health. Studies have found that fasting up to 7 days improves depression amongst individuals. Now remember, if you are not used to fasting, it will not be easy. You will face lower energy, headaches, body aches, and digestive issues. But these symptoms improve with time. Once you pass the 3-day fasting window, autophagy, enhanced immunity, and reduction in inflammation begin. It is also researched that body starts creating hematopoietic stem cells, which can help regenerate many other types of cells throughout the body. But again, cons often outweigh pros. You can survive months without eating as shown during hunger strikes, but studies investigating that are in controlled settings. In real, fasting for three complete days is very difficult. The body not only begins to break down muscle tissue, but body begins to experience nutritional deficiencies and digestive issues. A study investigating a 41-year-old man fasting for 40 days gives us amazing insights, telling us that 3-day fast is better than 40 days. The study shows that ketones are produced in the greatest quantity in the first initial days. After that, the levels are neutralized. Studies propose up to 0.9 kg of weight loss per day in the first few days of fasting. After that, the rate of weight loss decreases. This means that you get the most out of ketosis during the first few days of fasting. Thus, most of the weight loss comes from the stored fat and not the muscle mass. After three days, however, the body will require to break down muscle mass to fuel itself. A study also shows that by the third day of fasting, the glutamine concentration falls by 34% in the skeletal muscles. Now, what is the role of glutamine? Well, it maintains and fuels the lean muscle mass. It basically increases the rate of protein synthesis. Thus, when glutamine goes down, the rate of muscle breakdown increases. So this is how we understand muscle loss. Now, there is more to it. We also have potassium and nitrogen levels that fluctuate after the third day. Now, potassium has a great role in maintaining muscle mass. When potassium levels are low, it leads to muscle weakness and cramping. You can, however, supplement while fasting. Similarly, nitrogen imbalance also indicates protein loss. For this reason, a period of 16 hours to 3 days is a reasonable duration for fasting. In this way, you will lose some body fat and improve overall body health. Looking at these benefits, fasting for extended periods has drawn a lot of attention around scientific research in order to investigate its line with cancer and human neurological diseases. However, most of the researches are conducted on animals, that is why it is only by the current scientific evidence present that we can say fasting is essential for weight management and improvement in body composition. It's also great for a healthy brain and decreases inflammation. So, dear friends, we hope that you got a detailed idea about how food is broken down and what happens to your body when you fast, especially for 3 days. Looking at the tremendous benefits, are you ready to hop on the journey for health and wellness? Share this video with others and stay tuned for a lot coming your way soon.